Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist. It is another wonderful morning. Hello Blitzen, hello Dasher, hello Cupid. You're no Ivor and Biggin, but I love you all the same. Hello Comet. Anyway, welcome back to The Escapist, it's Santa's sweatshop. So we're doing pretty good at the minute. We managed to find some duct tape yesterday, um, and all we need to do now is get some bulbs from one of those Christmas chests, I think... And then we can make our fairy lights to finish everything off. Um, oh, look at that. There's some duct tape. But I don't have enough dollar. I've just realized I'm $6 short. Oh, for God's sake. What about Ronald? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Right. I need a job really quick. Uh, locate a flashlight for James. That might be easy if there's one in somebody's desk. Be a Ronald for Paul. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Let's just run really quick then. So we need a flashlight. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. We can trade that to the guy. We can get the money. We can buy the duct tape. Everything will be groovy. We'll be all set. Oh, go, 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 go. Right, Larson, please tell me you got a flashlight. Be that one guy. Oh, there's dirt in there. Interesting. But well, there is no flashlight. Right, next desk. Who is it? Fragger. Fragger, come on. No, there's no one inside of there that I needed. God's sake. Oh, God, breakfast is coming up as well. Oh, breakfast has already started, I guess, technically. I'm going to try Jesse's desk. Oh, I found one, I found one, I found one, I found one, I found one. Yes, flashlight. Go, 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 go. Run really fast. Don't never, never stop. Yes. Who needed it? Who needed the flashlight? Uh, James did. Where's James? James is right there. Good, good, good. Trade. Flashlight. Boom. Go. Right, who was selling it? Ronald? Was it Ronald? No, not you, not you. Was it Larson? Yeah. <laughs> yes, there we go. Absolutely rocked it. Very happy with that performance. All right, so we're going to chill for breakfast. Uh, are there any new jobs we want to take on? What is it you want? Your lucky lighter made it into the pilfering palms of Levi. Sure, we can check Levi's desk. That'll be fine. We got our stats up to 50-ish yesterday. So if we get our speed up today, then we can start delivering some beatdowns as and when we need them, which would be nice. Uh, right, let's go to our room. Because what I want to do is I want to make that poster. Because then we can start chipping away at the back of our of our house. Or I guess our house, our cell. <laughs> Any place can be a home, everybody, okay? That's what I'm thinking. Right, so we want to make that into... Oh, eight more intellects. Oops. Where do I raise my intellect? Oh, I don't remember. Where was the library in this place? Was it a library? Or was it computers? Oh, God. It's been so long since I played this. I don't remember where it is. Oh, it's not in the same place as the dining hall, is it? So you got this place here, and then it's not like a separate... No, not a separate room there. What? Oh, my God. I've gone through this whole day, and I don't even know where I'm going still. I don't believe that. This is messed up. This is real messed up. I don't have to raise it in there, do I? Surely not. Surely I don't have to sit in here and use the internet to raise my intellect. Really? No way. There's no way that is the only intellect raising spot. That can't be. It can't be. Maybe it is. Oh, God. Maybe that's, like, the, the, the problem with this map. Or, like, the difficulty in this map. Is that you can only raise your intellect in the guards' quarters. Oh, man. That would suck. I mean, I'm going to have to do it anyway. How much money did I need to make the, uh, the the poster? Was it much more than that? One more intake. All right, good, good, good. Just get what you need and just get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right, there you go. Good. Craft those. Good. All right, sweet. Oh, of course, yeah, the posters is a green item. I always forget about that. It's getting out of here, which will be the hard part. Now that I think about it. Oh, God. Uh, they don't usually see me if I stand here. Oh, balls. Oh, I mean, I guess I'm only going to lose the giant lollipop. Sugar. Let me de-equip it. And then if I drop it, like, say... Oh! No, nope, one of them picked it up immediately. For God's sake. So is that really the only place to raise intellect? I feel like I... No, maybe I haven't come across it before. Because I've never actually, like... Re... Oh, I don't know. Right, i tell you what. Let's go get some forks. We can start chipping through the back of our wall, can't we? Um, that might be the best place to start with this. Unless I do it from the inside. Would an inside job be better? What I'm thinking is, like, in the evenings... Yeah, let's try this. Okay, get ready. This is what I'm thinking, all right? So, if I do this... Oh, God, it's evening. Meal time. Of course it is. Ah, uh, it's at 6%. Right, what I'm thinking is, if I go inside the generator room, chip the wall on the inside of the generator room, and then it means when I come outside in the evening, rather than having to try and do a big snake all the way through this building, using, like, a red key and all this other complicated stuff, I can literally just go through the wall really easily. Because I've got the stuff to make another poster if I really wanted to, so that could be a tactic. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go down here. Hold on. We've got the holidays are coming music, but once we get past this, I can run back up to the kitchen. Or do I want to start doing it in the evening? Oh god, I'm, I'm so torn. No, you know what? I'm gonna start jumping through my own wall, 
Because that means in the evening I can go outside and just start chipping through that wall as is anyway. So that'd be fine. So let's get into my room and just start chippity chopping by the bath, I think. Or the bath, the toilet even. Oh, for God's sake, now it's shower block. Can't I get a moment's peace? It's all I'm after. Just a little while. Oh, he's getting a scrap. Who's that? Let me see. It is Levi. Oh, he's got some duct tape on him. I really want it. Um, okay. Let's do this. I'm probably going to get sniped. Who was it? Who was, was it? Oh, he's already gotten up. Oh, you bugger. Oh, did he? Oh, no. No, wait, wait. Oh, he did. He already got up. That was a total waste of time. For God's sake. All right, never mind. As we were, as we were. All right, let's start chipping through this. Uh, so what I need to do first is drop that. And then I need to use this one on there. There you go. The more I can do is I can put bed sheets across the front and nobody will ever know. Oh, is he coming to look? Yeah, that's right. Bugger off. Stupid Asgard. I'm not insulting the mythological city, okay? Before anybody tries to make that joke. All right, we're going down to 12%. Uh, I might just actually have enough forks to do this. Oh, but I'm fatigued. Come on, come on, come on. Sleep it off. Quick power nap, power nap. There you go. Look at that. 92%. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Uh, one more go. And the poster down. Yeah, there you go. Cool. So we've got a poster at the back of our room. We've got a guard's outfit. We need to get ourselves a few more cutting devices. That's pretty important for us to do. So I'm currently going to drop that wall block there. And then it means what we can do is we can come out here in the evening and we can put a hole in the generator wall, which means that we'll have a really quick path between uh, our thing, like our place, and um, the fence. Let's take out all of our naughty items for now. There you go. Put the good ones in. Take those two out. And everything is groovy. Oh, except for the wire. There you go. Good. All right, cool. I like this. I've got six naughty items in my hand. I've got a couple of forks. I can start doing some work. And other than that, everything is groovy. I like it. I'm going to be here fresh and early for the evening roll call. Let's see what you boys have got. I can probably do with running around and stealing some bed sheets as well. Just to cover over my desk. Or my cell, even. Ronald and Buddy. Oh, for God's sake. All right. So it's me getting checked, but what I can do is I can wait for them to come and check me, and then I can run outside afterwards. So that'd be fine. So, uh, let me quickly do this, this, and this. Quickly grab a few bed sheets. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and one more. Uh -huh. Good, alright. And then what we're going to do is we're going to trade those in and out. So, quickly do that. Uh, I'm going to take out naughty item, that one in, that one in, that one out, that one out. Oh, uh, inventory full. Oh, no, I guess that makes sense. I'm going to quickly grab you, put you into there, do that. So this should mean there are no red items in my desk at the minute. Yeah, look at that. Okay, cool, right. So we'll wait for them to come and check us. We'll switch into our guard outfit, and then we can roam around the grounds in the evening. This is going to be fun. How many forks have I got? I have two forks, one at 25% and one at 100%. Great progress. Great progress, lads. <coughs> come on, come check me. Is it going to be you? Come on, Terrell. Nope, it's not Terrell. Who's coming to check me? Bloody hell. Ah, it's Rick. No, not Ricky. Not Elijah. Owen? Good. All right, good boy, Elijah. Good boy, good boy, good boy. All right, so slowly but surely, one item in, one item out, one item in, one item out. There you go. Look at this. Slick Rick. Uh, duct tape. I'm going to put you into the desk as well. What can I take with me? Uh, maybe I'll take a cracker with me. Let's do that. Let's take a cracker, just in case I get into a sticky situation. Then I can knock out one of the guards if I really, really need to. So you're going to go to there. You're going to go to there. Need me guard outfit. Let's drop you just there. All right, and then we need to swap these out. I need to get that and put it on my window. That one on that window. That one on that window. Grab the cracker. Open the poster. Hey, hey here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Right, so we need to run ourselves around this building. And then we can start chipping through the generator wall. That's the that's the ge the rough general plan. Because then what we do is when we activate the generator, we run all the way up here. And then we can start slicing and dicing through this fence right here. Obviously, we can't do it now because we just trigger the alarms. That's why the generator needs to go uh, in the first place. So it stops the electricity flowing to it. So that'll be fine. So uh, where is the wall? <laughs> I've lost it. <laughs> there you go. Right. So it'll have to be just here. So let's just chip through as much of this as possible. Without any of the guards catching us. Oh, go on. Bloody hell, that was close. That was very brave. I dedicated to that. I dedicated to that slice. Oh, God. Problem is, sometimes these guards come out of nowhere. Like, they really, really catch me off guard. Come on. Just make a little progress now. We can do the rest tomorrow. 
Because I can even jump in the generator room from the kitchen tomorrow and get it really low for the final mm. evening. Oh, come on. I'm too fatigued. I'm just going to have to literally stand here and wait. That's it. I should have brought some of that cooked food with me, shouldn't I? I've got, like, so much bloody chicken legs. Should have brought one of those with me. Tell you what, let's run back and just go grab one. It'll be a lot easier that way. So we can chow down a little bit. Finish off that fence with the remaining re uh, remainder of the fork that I've got. Or should we not risk it? No, I tell you what, let's not risk it. Let's just go to bed. Everything will be groovy. So it's another day down, and we enter the weekend. Day number six is where we'll have to pretend that we have no idea how that poster got here. We can blame it on Rudolph or another reindeer. Our plans tomorrow rely on sneaking and lies, creeping out of our room in a god elf disguise. We'll cut out the power and slice through some netting. This is one Christmas that Santa won't be forgetting. Good night, everybody.